Would that, would that hold our weight if we tried to climb up each side and meet in the middle? Do you think that would hold our weight? Mm, not today, please. Not today. Come, come back on Sunday afternoon or Monday morning. Yeah, exactly. It would be a Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. I'd like to introduce you to Mr. David Chamay, the CEO of Boma Mercia. Nice to meet you. A pleasure to have you today. We are getting down to business here. It is Watches and Wonders 2023. We have some new novelties to get into. But before we do, I want to have the smallest history lesson in 1970s watches and watch design. Because if I can jump right in on this, the Riviera is a part of 1970s watch design history. Okay, David, I'm going to let you lead off. Yeah. 1972, what do we have? Uh, we had a new design from Mr. Genta uh, that came out with uh, quite famous timepieces. Can I say this? Yeah, I can. Royal Oak, let's say, let's call it like this. Yes, so we had that 1972. In 1973, did we have any notable models? Did we have yes. anything that, that, that is relevant? We had, thanks to Mr. Gate, uh, a 1973. Uh, the release of the Riviera from Beaume Mercier. Yes. The decagonal shape, so 12 sided bezel uh, with a steel on steel uh, execution. Uh, yeah, the timepiece to enjoy the Riviera at the, at the time. 1975, we have the Girard Perigo uh, Laureato. 1976, we have the Patek Philippe Nautilus. 1980, we have the Chopard, uh, what's it called again? Saint Moritz, I guess. Saint Moritz, I keep calling it Mont Blanc. <laughs> I'm making a point here, uh, Mr. David Chaumet, because People sometimes perceive these integrated steel sports watches with octagonal bezels as being part of a bandwagon that has just been, just been created. This is not the case. It has just been created 50 years ago. <laughs> so it's really recent. It has been, that's, just, that's a brilliant slogan. Just been created 50 years ago. The Riviera is so close to ground zero of this design that became ubiquitous from that decade. I think you've got something to show me inside. We start with the Azure 300 to execution. This is a, as well C Activity watch, mm -hmm. the one we saw 1981. This year release with a 300 meter water resistant, unidirectional rotating bezel, screwed cone, bomatic movement. And you know what about bomatic? Yes, anti magnetic. Yep. Yeah, not only. Well, oh, it's eight years warranty. Since eight year, years eight year. warranty. Two, two plus six upon registration. Wow, okay. So that's putting it up with watches that cost a lot more money. I want to talk about the designs here. Do you want to come around and let's have a look? What we see in the design codes of the new Rivieras is aggressive modernization. We see smoked dials. We have a smoked sapphire dial that is blue and also one that is gray. We have these more accentuated handsets with this white uh, how would we say, white edging with a, with a nice beige infill. But really, if you look at the aesthetics of these watches, they while the, the, the overall shape is reminiscent of the originals, we have an aggressively modern twist to all of them. And then on those two timepieces, it's a new size for this year, 39 millimeter with resection steel with bomatic. Yep. Blue sapphire uh, uh, dial or uh, dark small gray sapphire dial. And those time pieces are either steel or rubber with, yep. with alligator uh, skin on the rubber. Nice. It's, I really like that, the rubber underline. Now, these definitely are meeting the market in terms of size. The Riviera wears large. It is a large watch on the wrist. We'll show that later. So the 39 would be my choice, even though I have a 7-inch wrist and this is 41. This wears like a 50 millimeter watch, by the way. Oh yeah, that's way too big. It's, way it's, too big. it's way too big. <laughs> I'll show you why. It's those it's those links that uh, that actually flare out the lug to lug. That's another story. But the Riviera, we should try it on and see and see which one. Which size is for you? Because the thirty nine. My size, me. my size is forty two to be next with you. This okay, is you my got size. A big wrist, you got a big manly wrist, unlike me. <laughs> so we're gonna play with these. See which one's right for me. What do we have here? And then we have uh, two execution, one chrono in forty three. So. Yep. Bit more even uh, expressive. What uh, movement is that? That's not a Bomatic. Uh, no, it's not a Bomatic. It's a regular Chrono uh, Valjo in, into this. Yep. And then we have a Bomatic as well, two tone execution. We had a huge success with two tone color. So we came with this execution in a titanium, titanium. bezel yep. together with an aluminium PVD uh, gilted uh, ring on Bomatic. And as you saw on all the Riviera dial, we have this pattern yes. with a mountain and a wave, so mountain yes. and sea. Explaining literally what is a Riviera. The Riviera there is, is, yeah, is a piece of land 
in yeah. between mountain and a sea. That's true. And what is famous for sure is the French Riviera from Monaco to Saint Tropez. Yep. As well as American Riviera, you have a Syrian Riviera, we have a Chinese Riviera in Hainan. Yep. And the Riviera is a lifestyle. It's an approach to enjoy the time with the family, with friends, to have fun, yep. simple fun. Mm -hmm.